Nike, be true to your score. Dunks. I keep talking about these. I know because I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed by the, by the fucking um. How do you say? It? I'm annoyed by the, by the engineered nature of the of this resurgence. I just don't think it's legit. I don't think it's real, and it just annoys me a bit. Because I remember there was a time where you know Nike and sportswear brands didn't listen to sneakerheads on purpose, right? That everything that we wanted retro, then retro the opposite. Or when they did retro it, like the Air Max, like the Air Max Lite and the M and the Air Stab. I'm never gonna forgive Nike for giving us that much that shit of a fucking trainer, right? Let's see if I can get it. Uh, the Nike, Nike Air Stab. Like, how shit did this come out, man? Like, compared to the fucking OG, right? I'm still never gonna forgive them for giving me this bullshit. So this is the shoe that we all wanted. Like, th well, this that's the shoe that Nike gave us, right? This this horrendous, um, bulbous thing. The only thing that was great about it was obviously the Foot Patrol colorway that came out. That was amazing. Big up Steve Braden for working on that. That was probably one of the best um, collaborations or best um, colorways of the S that they put out. But look at that shoe, right? The colorway is amazing, but obviously the shape of the shoe is fucking horrendous. And then let's look at an actual OG pair, right? An OG. Let's see. This is too vintage. And show you how beautiful they looked when they actually originally came out. Look at the shape on these bad boys. Look at that. Look at the shape on that. Look at the shape on that and look what they actually gave us. Look how beautiful that looks. And they gave us that fucking bulbous abomination beforehand. So that I'll never forgive Nike about. And of course, the Nike Air Max Lite, right? This is one of probably the most egregious ones that they ever did for us, right? The Nike Air Max Lite. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this bullshit, right? Look at that. Yeah? Paneling's all fucked up. It just looks like they used the same Air Max 1 tooling. They didn't really try that hard. And then you look, go on here and you type in OG, right? or vintage right together and look what comes up look at this look what comes up here look how great this shoe looks look at that look at the difference in it look at look how beautiful it looks as an og the paneling looks different the shape is different they drop different they got a bit more of an aggressive shape they look so beautiful don't they as an actual og but the shoe that we actually got was terrible. So Nike have a tendency of doing that sort of thing. Like, look at that retro. Look at that. Look at that. It looks fake, doesn't it? That's from an actual Nike store. That looks fake, doesn't it? That legit looks fake. 2007. Oh, Jesus. I can't get a ray about this stuff anymore. But anyway, let's move on. So um, I know I talk about the Nike Dunks be true to your school thing a bit too much on here. But um, I just feel as if it's like it's been engineered and they're trying to make us like something that we don't like anymore because everyone buys Jordan 1s. They're trying to capitalize on it. I don't know. I just feel as if they they, they kind of used Virgil's co-sign to kind of make us believe Dunks are coming back in. But they're not really. The only person that's wearing them is fucking Travis, really, isn't it? On that big of a scale and maybe offset or something. Like, that's it. I don't really see anyone wearing them day to day at all. Zero. Even if you look at street style pictures, which is a really good indication of what people are actually wearing. Because a lot of people wear their actual trainers because they're walking around from show to show, showroom to showroom. They're not going to wear the, the free seated shoe just for the look, right? They're going to actually wear the shoes that they feel more comfortable. And you don't see people wearing fucking Nike Dunks. But anyway, Nike are going to continue pushing it because, you know, they can do that. So this is Nike revisit the Dunk Low Beauty to a school pack. And this time they're doing them in a low, which is a little bit more interesting, I guess, because the fact that, you know, the Dunk Nike Dunk SBs are coming back into vogue. Maybe the lows are a safer bet for people maybe closer to an air force one than they are to a Jordan one i don't know but i quite like how they look don't get me wrong um i wouldn't necessarily wear them but i still think like you know i don't know there's other things that want to be retro as apart from a dunk and you know there's going to end up on a cell rack anyway but let's let's go through them so it's an article from hype beast says the following nike is taking a quick breather from the crazy collaboration to celebrate the 35th anniversary of the classic dunk low silhouette um, reviving two quintessential iterations from the beach to school pack offering a model in two-tone varsity blue and orange blue uh blaze colorway so colorway sorry the beloved low top model arrives in a neutral white leather base and distinct color blocking in either blue or orange details include the perforated toe boxes the thin mesh tongue while compl complementing branding hints uh land on the panel sushi's tongues stay tongue tags and heels a white midsole with hints of orange or blue outsole make for a comfortable wear finally tied together with tonal laces for a clean finish yeah so again i'm not bothered hundred dollars obviously probably a bit of an easy buy for some people but i just think there's just a wasted part of a collaboration no one's really wearing them it's all kind of engineered it seems kind of fake and again i'm just not really with it the sear chris the sear chris colorway though is fucking fresh that white orange one is really nice i'd love to have a pair of those and just kind of maybe muck around them and customize them a bit change maybe uh the paneling colorways on one shoe kind of do a bit of a flip on them but again i just don't i don't know maybe because i lived through it and i kind of went through the dunk thing when that was an actual thing 
Um, and they weren't that great of a shoe really to wear. I think they look more, they look, Dunks look better on the shelf than they do actually worn. I'm going to go out there and say that. And I think Dunk Highs look better worn with shorts. Like, I just think they're, they're probably the best version. If you wear them with shorts, I think they look pretty cool. Um, but I think as is, I, there's tons of shoes I'd want to wear before I'd wear a pair of Dunks again. But there's nothing that's been, I've been sold on so far. Maybe apart from the Vitex and the Plums, they look pretty cool, but I don't know, man. I'm a bit, I'm a bit over the whole dunk thing because okay again maybe because i have the privilege of living through that era but i also think because it's just it just feels too engineered for me it doesn't feel organic i, 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 I feel like i'm being played you know i mean 